Dominicana is a novel by Angie Cruz that explores themes of migration, identity, and patriarchy. The story follows the life of 15-year-old Ana Concion, who is forced into an arranged marriage to a much older man, Juan Ruiz, by her parents in the Dominican Republic. Ana is then brought to New York City by Juan, where she is expected to live as a dutiful wife and help one achieve the American dream. Throughout the novel, Cruz uses vivid descriptions and powerful imagery to depict the struggles of the immigrant experience. For example, when Anna first arrives in New York City, she is struck by the towering skyscrapers and bustling crowds of people, which are a stark contrast to the quiet village life she left behind. She also finds it difficult to adjust to the cold climate and unfamiliar customs of her new home, which further isolates her from the outside world. One of the central themes in Dominica is the role of patriarchy in shaping Anna's life. From a young age, Anna is taught to be submissive and obedient to the men in her life, first her father and then her husband. She is expected to sacrifice her own dreams and desires in order to please Juan and help him succeed in America. However, as the novel progresses, Anna begins to question the patriarchal norms that govern her life and assert her own independence. This is exemplified in Anna's relationship with Caesar, a young man from her neighborhood who helps her navigate the challenges of living in New York City. Despite the risks involved, Anna begins to develop feelings for Caesar and starts to question the validity of her arranged marriage to Juan. Through her interactions with Caesar, Anna begins to see that there are other ways of living and that she doesn't have to conform to the expectations of others. Another important theme in Dominica is the idea of identity and the complexities of belonging to multiple cultures. Anna is caught between her Dominican heritage and her new life in America, and struggles to reconcile the two. She feels out of place in both worlds, and is constantly trying to find a way to fit in. For example, Anna is embarrassed by her lack of English proficiency and often feels like an outsider when interacting with Americans. At the same time, she also feels disconnected from her Dominican roots and finds it difficult to relate to her family back home. Cruz also touches on issues of race and class in Dominica, particularly through Anna's interactions with the other characters in the novel. Anna is often discriminated against because of her status as an immigrant and her lack of education, which makes it difficult for her to find work and gain acceptance in American society. She is also looked down upon by members of the Dominican community in New York City, who see her as inferior because of her rural background. In conclusion, Dominica is a powerful exploration of the immigrant experience and the challenges faced by those who are caught between two cultures. Through her vivid storytelling and complex characters, Cruz shows how the patriarchal norms and societal expectations can shape our lives, but also how we can challenge and subvert them. The novel is a testament to the resilience and strength of those who are forced to navigate the complexities of migration, and a reminder that we must continue to fight for a world where everyone can belong.